and work in process using due dates and stations. We will cover in this video how to update set due dates, order stations, line item stations, work in process reports. Inside the Sirius Control application, we will first look at setting due dates or updating due dates. From within a new order, selecting new, new order, on the totals tab we can set the due date and due time. So here we will select the ninth and set the time at 10 a.m. You will also notice a firm date. This will actually print in red on your work in process reports to note that it's a firm date. Another method of tracking is through production stations. There are two methods here, one at the order level, the other at the line item level. To set it at the order level, you go through the same process, selecting new, new order, on the totals tab, selecting the appropriate station that would apply to the particular job. This one would be going into design first. When it's finished with the design, it would then be set to printing, finishing, so on. The other method to tracking is at the line item level. For example, if we were doing a roll print and it needed to go into design, and we were also doing a set of channel letters that needed to go in a different department in the company with the same order, we would then locate the advanced tab located at the bottom of the window and select the appropriate station that would apply. We would then go to our next product channel letters, then select the station that would apply to channel letters. There are other ways of changing the stations in the program after it's been set. By going into the Explorer window, we would then go to Explore, explore our list of orders, Loc locate the appropriate order that you want to change the station on, right click, go to change station and then change the appropriate station. This will update the station in the system to give everyone an idea of where the job is at any given time. In managing your work in process through the reporting functions you would go up to reports, go to work in process, WIP, and run the three different reports that would apply. One at the order level. This will give you a list of all of the orders by due date. Work in process by station. This will give you a list of all of the orders in process grouped by station. So it would group it by design, by finishing, by printing, and then sort it by due date. You then have the line item by station which would give you a list of all of the line items grouped by station then by due date. Another method of seeing what jobs are in production is to come into Explore, selecting Explore, Explore Orders, and then unchecking everything but work in process. This window will then refresh giving you a list of all of the work in process jobs and listing the ones by station. You can click on the column headings to sort. You may also come in and apply a filter by selecting the station by design which will then filter all of the orders by design. In this case we have the one order 1006 by design. This is the conclusion of tracking your work in process reports.